What's up guys, Sal here. So just when people were saying smartphones are getting boring, Xiaomi enters the chat with the Mi Mix Alpha which basically an all display smartphone. Xiaomi is the one who kinda kickstarted the bezel-less trend with the original Mi Max and now 3 years later, when everyone was expecting the successor to the Mi Mix 3 with some minor improvements, Xiaomi took a whole new different direction and introduced a new concept which has a wraparound display with a screen to body ratio of 180.6%. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. Honestly, for the past few days, Xiaomi was teasing this smartphone and I thought it was their foldable smartphone, but it isn't. It's a regular glass similar to the one we find on devices like the Galaxy Note 10, iPhone 11 Pro, Huawei Mate 30 Pro, etc. which uses flexible OLED to bend the display at the sides. Xiaomi is calling this a 4D surrounding curved display. Like I've said, it has a 181% screen to body ratio, the rest 19% is occupied by small border up top and bottom and the rear cameras eat some of that screen to body ratio real estate. Speaking of which, the phone has 108 megapixel camera, as we have talked in the past Samsung is the supplier of this camera which uses Tetracell technology to take full 108 megapixel images in daylight and 427 megapixel images in low light and combine it to form one detailed image. There is a wide angle and telephoto camera present as well. As you can see there is only one set of cameras on this phone and if you want to take selfies or make video calls then you have to flip the phone which shouldn't be a problem because there is a display at the back as well. All in all, it looks identical to the Huawei's foldable smartphone, the Mate X. But the difference is, the Mi Mix Alpha isn't a foldable smartphone. It still amazes me how fast the technology is evolving. I mean, I knew we would see smartphones that would look like this in the future, but didn't expect that would happen in 2019 itself. To be clear, this is still a concept, which means Xiaomi isn't mass producing it like their other smartphones. They're not even planning to sell this internationally. It will be limited to China and is priced at almost $3,000. It's the only trend that I don't like about the current smartphones. Technology is getting better and improving at a rapid rate, but it comes with a price. But to be fair to Xiaomi, it's a concept phone. They have no plan of selling it. It's about bragging rights, I guess. But if you're crazy enough to spend $3,000 for this phone, then Xiaomi is ready to ship one for you in December, provided you live in China. And the last time I checked, you don't. So you have to pay way more than $3,000 and import it from China. Anyway, the biggest question you might have right now. Why? 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 Look, I totally understand that it doesn't provide much of value other than the fact that it looks freaking cool. Listen, phones are getting ridiculously expensive to the point that they're not just phones anymore, but a status symbol as well. It reflects your personality if that makes sense. When I'm buying a car, my top priority is looks and then comes the rest. Same for the phones as well. When I'm buying a budget or mid-range phone, looks are not really that important. The specs and features are. But when I'm getting a flagship, looks are one of the top priorities before making a purchase. And I'm sure there are millions out there with a similar mindset as well. That's why looks are important and that's why this phone matters. Phone companies aren't dumb that they are running in a race to increase the screen to body ratio because they know there is a huge demand for this. And that's the reason this phone exists and probably more companies would follow suit and come with similar phones as well. One more thing I need to mention is that accidental touches are not going to be a problem because they can just ignore the side areas with the help of a software just like Huawei did with the Mate 30 Pro and Samsung does with their flagships. Of course, with that being said, what do you think about this phone? Do let me know down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.